Okay, so what do we do when we have a variable underneath a radical? Well, if I said let's raise this to the second power, you'd say, well, law of exponents says when you raise base to a power to another power, you multiply. But I want to do the reverse. So what would I do to square root? Well, what are you raising to the second power to get x to the 6? So I hope you see you divide by the index, the power by the index. So this would be x cubed. So what would this be then, class? That's right, x to the 5th. You divide the power by the index. So this one. Now... I have to have something that's divisible by 2 evenly. So what I'm going to do is break this up into two parts. The perfect square, that would be the even, and then whatever's left over. So I'm going to break this up, x to the 6, x. So this would be x cubed, and then the leftover square to x. So this one, let's break it up, perfect square, leftover. So what perfect square goes in 18? Well, that would be 9 and 2. What do I break this up? X is 12, because I'm going to have to divide by 2. And then the X. So I'd have 3X to the 6, square root of 2X. So this one, break it up into two parts. The perfect square would be 25, has to be divisible by 2, so that would be x to 12, y to the 6, then I have the leftover stuff. So this would be 5x to the 6y cubed, square root of 2xy. So go ahead and do this one for me, see if you can do it. Okay, so you break it up. Perfect squared would be 4. 8 is perfect in terms of a square. And this I'd have to break off a y to the 8. And I'd have 2y left over. So it'd be 2x to the 4th, y to the 4th. Ooh, this is getting a little more challenged. Now you have to break it up so it's a perfect cube. So remember, power-wise, it has to be divisible by 3. Divisible by 3. So this would be x to the 15th, y to the 15th, and then left over is your x, because I had 16 of them. So this would be x to the 5th, y to the 5th, cube root of x. Oh, this is a fourth root. So this has to be divisible by four. So I need to break it up into two parts. Now, is 18 divisible by four? No. Let's break off an x. Is 17? No. Is 16? Yes. So I'll put the x is 16. That's the perfect fourth root, fourth power. And then the left over here. Is 22? No. Is 21? No. Is 20? Yes. 20 is divisible by 4. And then I'd have y squared left over. So this would be x to the 4th, y to the 5th. Just divide the power by the index. And then the leftover stuff. So this one. Is 14 divisible by 4? No. So how far do I have to go? Well, x to the 12th. So I put the left over here. Is 39? No. 38? No. 37? No. 36? Yep. So it would be y36, and I'd have three of them left over. So divide the uh, powers by the index, it'd be x cubed, 
y to the ninth, and then the leftover stuff. Can't do anything with it. Woohoo! There's five problems there. See if you can figure them out and then turn me back on. Okay, so this has to be divisible by six. So I'm to break it up. Uh, this would be 12, x to 12. So this would be x squared. This would be, um, well, I guess y to the 12. But I'd have four of them left over. So this is x squared, y squared, the sixth root of x squared, y to the fourth. So this one, well, 14 is divisible by 7, so that's part of my term. But 20 is not, so I have to keep going down until I find one that is divisible by 7, that'd be... 14, oops, that's x. And then I'd have the seventh root of y to the six. So this would be x squared, y squared, seventh root of y to the six. So is 21 divisible by eight? No, 20, no. Let's take her all the way down to 16. So what would be left over? Well, x to the fifth. 5 plus 16 is 21. So it would be x squared, the eighth root of x to the fifth. 10. Well, it's got to be divisible by 10 then, because that's our index. So we break it up into two parts. How about x to the 20th, y to the 10th? So I'd have x to the 6, y to the 4th. So this would be x squared y. 10th root of x to the 6, y to the 4th. How exciting. And the last one. Woo. So this would be x to the 10th. This would be y to the 10th and z to the 20th. This would be x, y to the 7th, z to the 3rd. So it would be x, y, z squared. Mercy. x, y to the 7th, z cubed. Okay. Well, wow. That was a tough one. Hey. Have a good day.